Hey, we're on day two. Day two of the Goddess You Challenge. The Goddess Challenge, we're getting in alignment. That's what we're doing. Super exciting. So I am going to share the video. I'm going to welcome you all. I hope you did the challenge from yesterday. You were able to get that journal prompt. And I am going to pop it in the event um, and underneath the, the video so you guys have it for for um, for your purpose so you can do the challenge that's the whole point right 12 days getting in our alignment 12 days to feeling better especially during this uncertain time that's our plan that's our goal all right day two I'm just writing this out as I'm sharing. So what have you been doing to keep yourself busy? I'm just curious. Have you been clearing out your house? Have you been doing, what have you been doing? Okay, shared, 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 shared. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Day two of the Goddess Challenge. Hope you have your journal, your pen, maybe your tea by you so we can hang out for a few minutes. So section two, or I'm sorry, principle two, section two. Apparently it's early for Jeannie today. Principle two in the Goddess You is all around self-love. Self-love, self-love, self-care. Not something that we're doing a lot of right now because we're worrying. We're consistently um, trying to show up for the world with our best face on. We're putting our makeup on. We're, or maybe we're not. I don't know. Maybe you guys are staying in your jammies. Yesterday I did the half dressed. I wore sweatpants and then uh, a shirt on top, and it felt good. Today I decided to get full dressed. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, even though I'm not leaving the house. I'm gonna get full dressed and hang out, right? Yes, Mary Kay, tons of snow came down for lots of people. We had a dusting. I mean, we had a maybe an inch, but um, the snow feels good, doesn't it? It almost feels like cleansing, like purification. That's what I was feeling when the snow was coming down. I'm like, ooh, purification. We need that purification. Yay, right? All right, self-love. Let's reflect a little bit about what that means. I've worked with so many of you, so many lovely souls, and we've gone through you know, our, our personal sessions, we've gone through trainings, and I hear the same thing come back at me, which is, I, I love myself, I take care of myself, I, I feel good, and I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's just hang out a minute here, because one, when the angels give me that clue in that, there is no self-love happening, that there is this internal struggle. I know angels don't lie. It is what it is. It's right there. It's presenting, my, it's presenting itself to me in the session so that we can address it, so that we can unpack, you know, upheaval all of the old stuff in order to get to the new positive love flow. And self-love isn't something that we necessarily fully understand. I think because of course you are the only you and you have to take care of you so while you might go out and get your you know yourself a new outfit or new purse you might think that's self-love or self-care but really self-love is the way you speak to yourself on the internal level the way you are speaking to yourself about things that happen in your life about past events Right? Are you following? It's big. Yeah, Grace. Right? And now that's a perfect example that you feel like you're a failure. And then I like how you added again. Right? Because that's an underlying pain that you've been carrying around for, for a long time. Which is a really uncomfortable feeling. Really uncomfortable. Right? Um makeup always vanity to sanity i love that susan that's hysterical so true so true and thank you to to michael who was so helpful with my makeup 
he brought me a nice little uh, makeup gift bag to one of the classes and I just love makeup I love little tubes and if you don't know that about me um, now you do now you do I'm not really good at it but I have fun with it and I used to work here's a little fun fact that you might not know about Jeannie is I used to work for Estee Lauder I used to work in the counter at Macy's and I would you know do makeup and sell makeup and I was not great at it so it was not a job that lasted for me yes but a little fun fact self-love right there right I was not good at it perfect example of how we talk to ourselves in a negative way right that's a storyline that's something that needs to be healed within me though it's not my forte I wasn't horrible at it see I caught myself right here right does that make sense guys so on the inside and sometimes we let these things slip sometimes we do come out with them and come out of our mouth like I'm not talented I can't do that what is your line what is your go-to line my go-to line for a very long time was I don't know I don't know I don't know and I don't know was an uh, a pain it was a sorrow it was something it was a deep emotion within me what is your what is your story what is the one line that you say to yourself I can't I don't know I won't come on I want to hear you share it with me yes Michael I was definitely called to serve in a different way Helping is my weakness. Helping is a weakness. So helping is a weakness. That's a really painful story, right, Donna? I'm sure that really hurts you, especially in your heart center, because being a giving person makes us uh, who we are. The storyline behind that is that you've been hurt by helping other people and maybe helping where you weren't meant to help. So a pause, right? Um, hold on, we'll go back to that. Taking the negative words out of my vocabulary. That's a hard one, right? So, but it's fun. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Maybe you can make a list, Jen, of those words that you say and write them down and just ask, is this true? And Donna, I love that for you as well. Like when you give, I'd like to find out what was that original pain that you had from helping somebody where maybe it wasn't received well or taken well. And can you turn that story line around and say, I gave and they weren't ready to receive. And that will change that conversation that you you say within. I give up. Oh, perfect, Grace, I love that. Um, I give up because when we let go of it, and then we are, are not holding it. But then I feel like you're feeling, again, like I give up is towards that failure, right? That crash and burn feeling like I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to give up because it's just not going to work out, right? So that has to be reversed. That has to be reversed so that you can keep going forward. Because what's happening, and, and the self-love is so important and the more importantly, guys, like when you pay attention to that statement that you say, like, what if people think I'm crazy, right? What if, what if people think you're crazy? That would be really like on them, wouldn't it, Michael? Nobody believes you, nobody trusts you, but that's not on you, that's on them. And so what happens with this self-love when we aren't really loving and saying, I believe in me. And if, if people think that I'm crazy, that's on them. And Grace, if if I can figure this out and stay with it, I know that I'm gonna learn a lesson, right? So when we continue the storyline, and I call this like the hamster wheel effect, right? We're on the hamster wheel, we're running around and we have the same thoughts and they're not changing. Like mine was, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, all of a sudden, what we see coming at us is a bunch of energy that says, I don't know because we're mirroring that storyline out into the world. So you're mirroring that I can't. You're mirroring that I can't. You're mirroring that I don't trust myself so other people aren't gonna trust you. So then we're gonna see that come back to us and people are gonna then show up 
life experiences are going to show up, the outside world is going to come back to us with that one line that we are holding. And then we're going to be like, oh, you see, this is why I shouldn't do it because it doesn't work out. Well, what you just did was your negative talk inside, your not self-loving is reflecting back to you. We call that the mirror effect. You mirror out what you want the world to give you, right? So God created the universe and the universe provides us with abundance or lack of abundance. It's up to that internal dialogue to shift and change in order for the universe to provide. God wants us to have it. He's like, look, you've come here. I want you to have all the glory. You got to do the work, right? That's why you're a human. That's why you came into into being, right? Um, listening to others even when you know better, right? Perfect. Because your body can't lie, right? But the truth is you've been lying to yourself. Your body can't lie and you tell stories to it. Like, I can't. I won't. Uh, people aren't going to believe me. The outside world's not going to accept me. Really, that's a reflection on you not accepting yourself. I say this because I've, I've walked this line. I've walked this. It's not something that I'm telling you that I haven't done, right? I've had to learn to change that internal dialogue. And you see, it's not perfect because in the very beginning, I threw myself under the bus, right? Saying I wasn't good at it. But listen, I was good for my abilities. I was good for my abilities, right? Mm, I put my effort into selling that makeup and working that counter and getting dressed every night to go to work. I put my effort in. I showed up, right? Um, I can't do that, but I'll sing and dance for you. I love that you're going to sing and dance for us. Mm, okay, so I'm just trying to go back and read your things. I want to make sure I don't miss you guys. So self-love is, the, and this is a really, 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 really great time um, because God has given us a pause. And so when we take the situation with the coronavirus and, and the world being at a standstill, that's where we're at, God has given us a pause. If we, if we want to look at the negative aspect, we're going to get more of that. You know, if we watch the news obsessively, if we're hanging out and being like, this, this, and this, it's going to build on us. And our worry and our stress and our anxiety is going to be what we're mirroring out. And that's the energy that we're going to portray. This is a call for self-love, of self-reflection, of being still in your body, of breathing and changing that one liner, that one line that you guys are writing on here that you are sharing with yourself day in and day out. And so catch yourself. Catch yourself like I caught myself Catch yourself and take that one line. I want you to write it down and I want you to look at it and I want you to say, is there truth to this? And where was this birth from? What happened that caused me to have that conversation with myself? So I, I did this work with the I don't know. I, I sat with the I don't know. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? This I don't know. And, and so I dated it back. I found the original statement was, in my childhood it was came from you know being in school and being told you don't know that's not the answer you don't know and so I was able then to like own that and take that little girl self of my my own and and bring her in and say you know what Jeannie little Jeannie you do know you do know because you have this gift with connection the angels talk to you God speaks to you your body's telling you and so you do know the outside world might not know, the people around you might not know, but you know your truths. Mm. Michael, I'm so glad that you're saying you're grateful for this time. If, if we can all like kind of get to that point of being grateful for this being still time and being home, being self-reflective, learning how to quiet that negative talk, learning how to self-love, well, guess what, guys? You are going to raise the vibration of our planet. You just doing this work for these next 12 days, you know, or, or not 12 days anymore, 11 days, you are going to raise the vibration of our planet. And I'm sure you're going to share this with your friend, your partner, or you're going to share this with somebody. Take somebody on this journey with you. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them how you're 
releasing energy and you're you're awakening to love and you're you're wanting to mirror that out and you want to help them do the same because it takes it takes a village it takes obviously the world at this moment to come together to find that love right 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 so michael that's always what happens angels always provide us the 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 energy and then we see it come at us in another way i love that i'll do my morning reading and then i'll have another message come through somebody will say something and it'll all go stacked together right beautiful beautiful organize that closet get that done so today your your um challenge if you are to accept it must be like um maybe you guys are mission impossible people so Right now, you guys are my Tom Cruises. You are going to accept this mission. Who's in? Who wants to accept this mission? Who wants to be their Tom Cruise self? And you know, I'm talking about, you know, the Mission Impossible Tom Cruise. Who's with me? Who wants to have a little fun? Keeping this light, guys. Gotta keep it light. No mission takers? Come on. Come on, my mission takers. Don't worry, nothing. It's going to self-destruct right here. There you go. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. My life experience lately created a huge shift. Yes, it. there are so many good things that are coming from this upheaval. And of course, we want to hold the people that are affected directly by this virus, by the people that have been lost, their family members, and when we can we can be sacred we can hold them and we can love ourselves we can hold them and not hold fear we can hold all of this and say all right god what will you have me do today and so today your mission your mission is to take that scary statement that one statement that you say find it and if you don't know it do a little internal work maybe do the breath exercise from yesterday and look within and just say what is it that i'm always saying to myself that might not be in a love tone it's an inner reflection. It takes some work, it takes some time, but once you have that statement, I want you to write it down and then I want you to look at it and I want you to turn it around. Remember yesterday we talked about the back door being cold, drafty, fear, everything in the negative, where everything from God, everything is positive. It's, it has a positive outlook. It's, it's bright, it's shiny, it's joyful, it's peaceful. I want you to take that statement and I want you to, to make it a beautiful statement. And then I want you to share it with me. I want you to share it in the comment section. Why? Because once it becomes part of your vocabulary, once you start sharing it and saying it, you're going to change that internal dialogue. And that's what you're going to mirror out to the world. And so then you're going to change the way abundance works towards you. Instead of pushing it away and keeping what you want, what you desire, far from you, you're actually going to become a magnet for it. So you have to do the work. That means you have to show up, you have to self-care, you have to self-nurture. So self-love is about being reflective, not be, about being mean, not about tearing yourself down and being like, oh, that's really stupid, why did I keep doing that? No, 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 nope, nope. Self-love is, that's an old behavior and I can change it. I have the power, I have the ability, I have the tools, I have the goddess principles. There you go, my loves. That's day two. I hope that you do this challenge. I can't wait to see your statements and then you turn them around. So I want the original statement and then how you turned it around. It's a little bit of homework, but I know you can do it. It's gonna be awesome. All right, Mwah. Michael already has a statement. Wait a minute, I already have my statement. I said it as my intention last night. Ah, oh, for the new moon, Michael, beautiful. Will you, will you mind sharing it? Cause we would love to see it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So add all those comments under this video. The video is gonna stay on my page so you can go back and you can rewatch it and then you can add your comments so I can see where you're at, okay? Perfect. You guys, you've got it, you've got it. All right, have a blessed day.